anytime that I think about the Titanic, I think about Celine Dion. Makes sense. And that funny ass song and just the whole situation and how ridiculous it was that the movie was as popular as it was when we were growing up about something that happened a long ass time ago and even the story that was you know the main thing about the movie it was just completely fiction like it was just tied to this horrific thing that actually tragedy that happened that really sucked that was just like I recall my entire family, which this is like, this never happened, but we, I guess, bought the VHS tapes mm-hmm. for Titanic, and it came in two VHS tapes. It was okay. so long. So you had a little intermission, because you then had to go change it out and rewind the other one and all that. But my entire family got into the living room of my home and watched Titanic. There were so many of us. I was in the floor with my grandmother. My grandmother scratched my back the entire length of the film. It was raw and red, but I wouldn't let her stop. And I watched Titanic. Like, that's a very fond memory for me. So, even if it was not, you know. It was absurd. (laughs) And, uh, I I mean, there were so many better movies out at the time I mean it was a really good time for movies at least it seems that way because it's when I was growing up and you know well, I don't know the the mid 90s like, were, like were kind of like a grace period for like how crazy shit was about to get in the 2000s but you know there were also video games made about the Titanic I've seen several. I mean, there's ridiculous ones like the... Titty Nick. <laughs> the Titty Nick. Uh, we watched that John Tron video. If you guys haven't seen it yet, we'll link Which that it, down in the description. It's not Titty Nick, but, uh, but I thought so. You'll get it. Anyway. Um, but I even like the spy games. Like, I spy this and the... Uh-huh. And, and it's just like inside of the Titanic and then floating in the water. What can you see? And just... There were so many ridiculous games and just merchandising that went on about the Titanic that again it just doesn't make any sense that that incident is as popular yeah but in a way that's not like it's not like 9-11 or something it's not like oh my god this tragedy it's like so romanticized it is for sure and do you know how many cruise liners there are a lot of them you know like uh, uh, anyway so like the tragedy of the cost of Concordia is not going to have its own... I doubt it. You know. I doubt that Leo is signing up for a starring role in the... I have actually gone to a museum just for the Titanic. It looks like the Titanic. You walk in, you get to be a person. Which is kind of fucked up because then at the end of it, you get to see if you died or if you didn't. Yeah. They had something similar at the Holocaust Museum when I went. They gave you like a pamphlet little thing yeah. and it told the story of someone who was a victim of the Holocaust, which is, which is a like, whole nother yeah. emotion that you get in the realization of how real that shit was. Um, but the Titanic, I just, it doesn't strike a chord with me. I'm not interested. I just don't care. <laughs> I just All don't right. care. All right. So the yeah, legend I mean, it's goes sad. on. It's sad. I'm not going to say it's not sad, but I'm sure John Tron has found a ridiculously awful video game connected to the Titanic. And uh, he has to play it, so we don't have to. Um, yes, score for us. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me why you would have a video game related to Titanic. Dude, there are so many dumb games. But it's because games are so popular and people expect to make money off of everything that's popular, no matter how shitty their product is. Anyway... Let's see what John Tron has to say about this one. John Tron. a lifetime, my love. 
for I know you will return to me one day. Every last of the 3,500 miles from Southampton to the Big Apple feels like a dagger of infinity thrust between our hearts. My sweet darling, we were to be reunited once again as man and bride. <laughs> oh we were to finally escape the persecution of our family's name. His as fate would so have it, weird. all our hopes and dreams were swallowed whole with you into the ocean's abyss. I could swear it were all a lie, and I could see your ship there, just on the horizon. The rest have forgotten, for that was so many years ago now. But I have not forsaken you. Oh dear, what's this? Titanic, the legend that goes like on? Deville. A full-length animated feature based on the legend of the Titanic? Wait, what? Is this a legend? It's just a silly old legend, I thought it was like a real thing, like a real boat with, with, with people on it that sank and they died. I suppose that means my girlfriend's not real then. I guess there were some signs along the way. <laughs> when we were at that restaurant, the waiter, he said, why did you order two meals and not eat one of them? And he just left it there to get cold. And I said, curb your tongue. That's my lady. And soon she will be departing on the great steamliner known as the Titanic that is definitely a real ship in the real world. And he said, wait, what? She was <laughs> real to me. Today's topic of discussion, the animated children's film, Titanic, the legend of Not a game. On. Yeah, I don't even know where to begin with this one. This movie was released in Italy in the year 2000, and for some reason it's based on the infamously tragic story of the RMS Titanic. Of course, why wouldn't it be? It's perfect material for a kid's film. Think of all the funny slapstick situations that could arise here. First Titanic, <laughs> now this. I'm Titanic. forced to talk about the Titanic yet again. Titanic. What can I say? I guess a true story about a bunch of people freezing to death really makes for some good media. Uh, this, of course, takes a close second to my other favorite uh, questionably topic youth feature, Beauty and the Trail of Tears, or as it's known in the American localized version, Pocahontas. I don't really know what more to say about this. I mean, this film provides a great deal more questions than answers. It's somewhat of a rite of passage uh, to see this for yourself. So without further ado, let the pain begin. As you can see, the man, nay, the legend responsible for this is a guy named Camilo Teddy. Sure to go down in history as one of Il Italiano Primo. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? What's with these names? Yemen Magon? Okay, I guess that's just a foreign name, but Scarl? <laughs> Poor bastard. His name was so beautiful before the accident. So much potential. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at that? They got to the point real fast on that one, huh? They sent yeah. that son of a bitch right away. So throughout this bizarre first scene, we're shown a diverse cast of characters that I can only assume are from the events preceding this one. You know, like, before the ship sinks. I guess they were just trying to do a little something special here. A little memento meets Titanic, really bold filmmaking. What sorrow I feel for these characters so close to my own heart. Red-haired lady, brown-haired guy. Old woman one and two currently drowning one and two. and of course 101 Dalmatian. 101 what? 101 what now? I Bongo! Just... Is that you? Hey, why save more people when you can save two dogs who will live for a collective three years after the end of this film? <laughs> I guess Ugh. Disney royalty will get you far in this life. Oh my god, Jesus, that's terrible! <laughs> what? Just laugh? What are you two laughing at? What changed here? I'm glad this man's violent death brought you momentary joy and distraction from the what? sinking of your ship. Maybe they were just enjoying his uh, perfect 10 here. It's so weird, they just keep <laughs> looping the same shots over and over and showing things that don't even look like they pertain to the moment at hand. Oh, and it's over. The movie now decides to start for real. Hope everyone's ready for some laughs, huh? for some fun. <laughs> Let's go on this uh, animated adventure together. Maybe by the end of it, we'll be laughing like two old ladies on the verge of death on a lifeboat. God. Huh? Could happen. How can <laughs> anyone be expected to try to enjoy this movie after being given that intro? Going into this movie, everyone already knows how it's going to end, but then they just reminded us in painstaking detail. What, and now I have to anticipate all these characters dying? I'm supposed to get invested in them emotionally? Camillo, you just gave me a <laughs> fucking Final Destination vision of all my friends' deaths. You, you lunatic? So the story begins, for real this time, with the girl we saw in the previous scene on a train opening a locket, which seems to have a, a picture of herself inside it. I'll never forget you. <laughs> Stop moping over that picture. You're never going to find your precious mother. Your precious mother! 
Yeah. Damn. And for all intents and purposes, I hope that bitch is dead. Serves you right for sitting quietly on a train. You're wrong. I will find her, and my father too. I'll find them both. Well, I guess that's that. That came together very well. Here we have the obligatory scene where all the characters are introduced as they're boarding the ship. Although only about one third of them seem to have any semblance of originality. If you could call any of this original. What have you got in there? Wait, what? What? Why are there anthropomorphic like animals fawful. boarding the ship? And not to mention, every last one of them is based on some Disney or Don Bluth character. No, in fact, just about every character in this film is ripped off from something else. Yeah. You've got Granny from Looney Tunes, you got a Cinderella thing going on here with the main character. There's the Dalmatians, as previously discussed, the mice from American Tale, the crow from Secret Anim, Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland, Belle from Beauty and the Beast, and the geese straight out of the Aristocats. And it goes on from there. I just really don't understand where they could have been coming from when they were making this. Ripping off a bunch of classic yeah. cartoon characters and putting them on the Titanic? Camillo, you trying to make some sort of sick, twisted reality show? Camillo, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing to us? What are you doing to yourself? <laughs> oh no. Damn. You here, dropped her things. Oh, Angelica. You really are. Oh, what a nice man picking it up for her. Here you are. Let's hope it's a smooth crossing. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? Do you know something we don't? You got something to say? Why so devious? Wait a second. I recognize that voice. You're not really an old man! I knew it! He was the iceberg! <laughs> oh my god. I suppose it's easy pickings <laughs> at this point, but what's with the jerky animation? Half the time, it doesn't even seem like the animators knew what they wanted from each shot. It's as if two directors constantly battled about what emotion the character in question should be displaying at any given moment. Not to mention the downright abruptly timed dialogue. This is yours! Oh, thanks. I, well, I must have dropped this. I, I really owe you one. Is that all you have to say, Italian mouse? I suppose you're going to forget about A, I, O, and you. It's near impossible to follow what's going on in this movie. I'm not even exaggerating, there are so many characters doing so many things in such a short span of time. I even found myself mixing the characters up, for real. The first time I watched this, I legitimately didn't know these two old ladies were different characters. They're different characters! There's just two evil stepmothers in this. Hey, more evil's better, right? Oh, okay. Well, let me get this straight. The crow, he stole the pin out of the uh, squirrel's hat there. Squirrel noticed, turned around, and then he left. And the significance of that was? <laughs> yeah, what's with the costumes, guys? We've been on tour, senor. And cannot wait to get home, eh, muchachos? Do I, do I decent boy? Do I decent boy? Chile. I join you? I play wicked bongos, you know. But they're not going to Mexico. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to make you guys uncomfortable. I'll turn the movie off now if it helps. And uh, if you don't mind me, I'll be over here in the corner celebrating the death of my own innocence. Right, Papa? I can still hear the screams, Papa? I can still hear the screams. The van de plan copper mine. Hey, guy, I don't think the captain can hear you. What you're saying is interesting and all, but at this moment, I think his brain is internally <laughs> swelling. It's like Don Vita. out of the yeah. harbor. We don't want to disturb the other liners with our wash. Hot screw. And away she goes, beginning the most magical of legends that definitely never happened at all, I swear. Ugh. In the next scene, we're met with the two evil stepsisters, seemingly deciding what to wear. Call her, Mommy! Call her at once! <laughs> Did I stroke out? Did they stroke out? Someone has stroken out. I didn't do anything to alter that. That's how the movie comes packaged. That's how it's meant to be. It's art. Look at this hole in my favorite dress. I wanted to wait. Oh, it's got bigger. So, uh, from what I can gather here, the main storyline is that Angelica here loses her prized locket and the search for it begins, sort of. Pick up those bits of broken china at once. What kind of sociopathic person wrote this movie? Who could even get into such a headspace? Go on. Throughout the movie, Angelica is seen being nice to the animals around the house, especially the one little mouse. So the animals like her and elect to help her find the lost locket. How about if she comes to our party, Mama? We are having one, aren't we? We'll talk to Fritz about her. The snack I'm looking for. Papa! <laughs> 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 
were you, I would be now in someone else's digestion. You know, there's something you should know, so I'm gonna tell you so. Don't sweat it. Forget it. Enjoy the show. Working all day, now it's time to unwind. Kick back, relax, take a load off your mind. <laughs> what the what? fucking fuck? There was no, no way. This being a musical, and then all of a sudden the no dog, the, the dog here, he comes and he starts rapping. Rapping hip hop. Rapping in a style of music that won't be, be invented what for some 70 years after this scene ends. All set against a modern day Midtown Manhattan. Well, listen, listen to me, rhyming dog. I too can play at this game. And also, what I would be does so the mouse say to do that. after this all happens? If it hadn't been for you, I would be now in someone else's digestion. I'll take uh, broken English for 800. <laughs> We've done it again. What? What have you done again? Nothing happened the first time to warrant this happening again. This is the first time I've seen you, I think. What is it, a common occurrence for you to go tying the legs of strangers together on a giant boat? Also, seriously, who are you? Bonjour, mademoiselle. Pardon, monsieur. May I still hear for one moment? What? Well, who is this? Who is that? What's happening? Watch out for a couple of weirdos, a kind of crazy red-haired cat and someone I hesitate to call one of us, more like a bat than a dog. Bat? Dog? Which dog? Who's this dog? Dogs? On the Titanic? She's sinking! The plot is sinking! Quick, hire the emergency riders! Oh. And at long last, our star-crossed lovers meet. And she instantly makes a pose as if she were trying to imitate what she saw someone do on the cover of Vogue. I don't think she realizes what she looks like there. I think in her head it's looking a lot better. Paint me like one of your French boys. Paint me. I bet you look ravishing in this. Whoa, slow down, Romeo. All right, leave some to the imagination. I'm pretty sure that's a big ass pair of granny panties. I don't know that you really do want to see her in that. Darling, are these your skid marks? <laughs> He's going in for the touchdown! And then she just walks away. Eh, typical, you know? She doesn't even want to be viciously molested. Talk about playing hard to get. And just like that, the next scene starts up with a new mouse? I don't remember this guy. He is holding an adorable tiny candle, though. I mean, come on, that's got to be one very small candle. Did he get that thing custom made? Eat up all you can, boys. You'll need your strength for the Mexican winter. I really have no idea who this mouse could be or why we're watching this, so let's just move on and pretend it didn't happen. I think I must be going a bit soft in the head. You're telling me Patrick Bateman, Prince Charming, has a pea brain? You gotta be pulling my leg, huh? Well, I've never had a proper family, so I've always dreamed of making one, but I don't want to rush things. I have a whole life ahead of me. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Wait, how does this movie end again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, I wouldn't count on that whole life thing. Oh, and he's gone. Excuse me, madam. You were talking to a young lady. How can I find her? I know she often comes out here for walks. Oh, I must go in now. It is hey, Granny, where are you going? You just gonna bail on the convo? He's still talking to you. He's asking you a question. You can't do that. She oh said, God, bitch. Granny's aware of her own bail. She literally looks back and then lumbers away full Sasquatch mode. Full Sasquatch. Oh, no. God, no. No, not this. Not the music. I would have thought you'd be upstairs listening to that wonderful singer. I was too busy looking for someone. Hello. Are you gonna say something? You just not gonna reciprocate there? I don't even know your name. Will I see you at the reception tonight? That all depends if I get unstuck from being in five frames per second. So, after this encounter, Angelica goes back to Granny's room and explains how sad she is that she can't go to the reception with the guy she just met because she has nothing to wear. Upon hearing this, Granny offers Angelica her old dress from her youth, which she for some reason has with her on the ship. I haven't worn this since my poor Francis took me to the opera for the first and last time. Oh, Granny, how hard for me. Wait, first and last? Granny, something you want to talk about? <laughs> is Uncle Francis, is he all right? Also, ugh, I don't want to know what happened in, around, or near that dress if Granny was so fond of that night. 
Yeah, I wouldn't do that, Angelica. Some of Uncle Francis might still be on there, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Just make sure this ball doesn't have a blacklight theme. What did my foster mother say? I'm Bernice and Hortense. I wouldn't worry about them. Uh, yeah, mainly because I think uh, no one knows who they are or if they're even in this movie. <laughs> oh, hey, is that Uncle Francis back from the grave to give Granny one more night of fun? Gosh. Oh, no. It's just two mice with a knife. Should have guessed, huh? Classic. Ona Shmona, it's mine now, and I'm not giving it to anyone. Oh, I think I get to oh. <laughs> How quaint! A raven fell through the exhaust grate in my cabin. No more nonsense! It's hers! Put it around her neck! Alright, I can see you serious! Just please leave me and my family out of this! Thank you. Oh, what are you doing? You're gonna get a disease! This is how the Black Plague started. I'm sure this is a photograph of my real mother. What? You weren't sure? I think this is one of those things you gotta be sure about. Hey, this isn't third class. Shh, Hector Bradbury, New York Police Department. Who the fuck are uh, you? I'm here incognito on a special assignment. I want to catch the suspects red-handed. Get it? No. Somebody broke into my cabin and stole the locket, but that's all they took. Excuse me, I oh, couldn't man. help hearing what you said. Bro, what's with the red hair and black beard combo? Not a good look for you. Once again, who is this and why? <laughs> Bless you! Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm sorry, I'm just a little embarrassed of my sneezes. I think they make me look like a little scared boy. Wow, it's beautiful. The song that plays about them is already <laughs> in total longer than the, the amount of time they've actually spent in each other's presence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on here, but the guy in the black hair is taking some sort of issue with Angelica, and then he comes up and straight up points to her tits for like 10 seconds. Realistically, I think he was just trying to save her from the clutches of Jack the Charming. Now I know who stole my locket. It was that girl. No, no, I don't think it was her. It is possible que... Uh, well, what was that? Perhaps the locket is back with its rightful owner. What does he mean by that? Yeah, what does he mean by that? No, you know nothing about me. Nothing? What do you mean? I know- Oh wait, no, you're right, I do know absolutely zero about you besides your name. In fact, I don't even think I know your name. You didn't tell me, you just walked away. Maybe we should just call this whole thing off, or at least think it through. Nothing you could tell me could prevent me from loving you. Even if I were to say something like, uh, reject all your sexual advances? Oh, yeah, <laughs> okay, no, I can now see that that is not going to stop you either. What's going on here? How'd everyone get to a vantage point to watch this all at once? Nobody noticed they're being watched here? And the animation changes, too, like the quality of it. skeletons at the bottom of the ocean. My <laughs> 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 Everything went perfectly to plan. What a perfect scene, am I right? 10 out of 10. Okay, I think we're done with the worst of it. Love interest, kissed, everything's falling into place. The movie's gotta wrap up at some point now. Come on. Come on, baby, I just want out. Hey, at least it makes more sense than hip-hop dog in terms of time period. Now oh, no. we get to the Oscar. Well, this is getting sinister. I've got a bad feeling about this. Look at that! What, you never seen mist before? That's not just ice. Well, let me just get in focus <laughs> here. <laughs> Dear God, it's an iceberg! Hello? There's an iceberg right in our path! Who is this? I told you to stop calling his number. So, finally, the iceberg hits. General Mayhem ensues, and all the characters scramble to reach the boat's exit. Yeah, buddy, save that energy. Don't want to expend it before you get rowing. What a shit show. No way. Wow, I can't believe it. This movie's finally drawing to a close. So William, the love interest, breaks a window with a wicker chair somehow and escapes the ship. 
All the while, Angelica seems unaffected by his suspected untimely death. Do you still have a picture in the locket? Yes. Ever since my mother put it around my neck as a baby. And then left you because she was forced to. Mother? Oh, God, no, please, no. Yes. So, yes, all along, this woman was Angelica's mother. Hooray! She's been found! Oh, but her dad, she said she'd find? And my father, too. I'll find them both. Nah, he's dead still. Or missing. Or worse, dead and missing. But hey, at least she found her mom. Look, over there. <sighs> it looks like someone in the water. Oh, my God. Out there everyone he is, on just the nick of time. Oh, yeah. Not him. It's not him. Ah, false alarm. It's not William. <laughs> Throw him back. Are you serious? It's the detective with the red hair and mismatched beard from earlier? So the literal only reason for that character existing was for this one gag at the end of the film, the bait and switch. I bet the writers really patted themselves on the back for this one. Hang on. It's William. But then, in a joyous twist of fate, William oh is recovered. God. Darling, it's me, Angelica. <sighs> Where's William? Who did that? Where's William? What do you have, the brain of a baby? You don't got object permanence yet? The moment he's out of sight, he's just, whoosh, he's gone from your reality. Gone. Please. Please what? Open your eyes. Oh, okay. No, never mind. Close them. Throw me back. <laughs> and on that day... They lived happily ever after. What? But just them. It was honestly pretty terrible for just about everyone else. Most of them perished, but at least the Mexican funny mice lived. Wait a minute, wait a minute, where are you going? The movie isn't over yet. What? No, no, come on. Don't you want to know what happened to everybody? We're sitting really pretty. The no, no, you can't be serious. There's a where are they now segment? I'll tell you where they are now at the bottom of the fucking ocean. Are you crazy? <laughs> But this isn't even the only Italian animated Titanic film that features talking mice. The other being called The Legend of the Titanic. The Legend of the Titanic. Did Italy just miss what? the news that day? Was that the day the world's biggest meatball was made and the Titanic sinking was just a footnote right at the bottom? By the way, it looks like Titanic I need to LOL. rest once and for all so we can all <laughs> I'll never let go <laughs> of what you've done to me, that is, which is quite a lot, really. You're a terrible, is it terrible taped thing. Is rock? the depths with you. Yeah. <laughs> Just like the necklace. Hey, you dropped this. Oh, my God, back to the depths with you. Back to the oceans. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. So what a, silly. Oh, what a... Oh. Yeah. Dumpster fire. I just don't... It's like all those movies that you see in the bin at like the Dollar General store or like Family Dollar. Yeah. Just the just the worst of the worst. The worst. It like at doesn't... truck stops, they used to have them too. They'd have a rack of like DVDs and you'd go look and it's just like this fucked up knockoff version of some movie that was popular 10 years ago. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like if you're going to write a movie about something that's already happened, it seems like it'd be fairly easy, right? Right. And so you don't even have to come up with, like, your own plot or ending or anything, and you fuck it up that badly, like... Awful. It doesn't make it's any truly, sense how you could terrible. get... It's, it's, like, would be more difficult to go the route that they did than to just... Tell make, a regular ass story. Yeah, yeah. And just make a regular... But no, the mice and the detectives and the grandmas and the stepmothers and the... It's like if I was really, really high rock. and I just was like, just continued to write and then I didn't edit any of it and I made a film. Or it's just like a room full of creative people being like, you you know, why well, have an idea? And the director was like, put, hey, put it in. Like everybody had to say you're one in, thing. You're in, you're in, we're all in. Take it all in, all of it. And they did. It just didn't seem to make any fucking sense. And it looked weird, and it sounded weird. The art weird. style changed. Yeah. Like, it looked better towards the end. And then, opinion. like, the, the... What would be the stepsisters mm -hmm. if it was Cinderella. Um, what, what were they speaking? I don't know. Some weird gibberish. I don't even know. Yeah. Wow. But it wasn't a video game this time. Yeah, so he also sits through movies. That no human being should have to sit through. I think we watched so it's this one and then 
the fight that mm-hmm. we've watched. So two movies that I can remember. Oh, there's a few that you need to see yeah. that are that I've seen before that are really, really bad. So speaking of that, recommendations. If you have any, you can drop them in the comments below. Yes, you can. Or on our Discord, and we'll have a link to that in the description. And there will be a link to this original video by Gontron that you can check out and check out more stuff on his channel if you haven't subscribed yet. There's plenty of funny videos about video games and shows and all kinds of pop culture content for you to enjoy. And if you enjoyed our reaction, you could subscribe to our channel. You could give us a like and leave a recommendation. That would be great. Uh, We also live stream on Monday and Thursday nights at 6.30 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. If you want to drop in and hang out with us there, that would be great as well. But for this video, I think that's going to do it. I do. See, See y'all. Guys.